radar glitch effect and storm visuals? Can the government really control the weather? Stick around because today I'm diving into the controversial world of HARP. So what exactly is HARP? We're talking about the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program based all the way up in Alaska. Officially, HARP is all about studying the ionosphere to understand and improve communication and surveillance. But is that really the whole story? Now, here's where things get interesting. Conspiracy theorists claim that HARP is a tool for weather warfare. They believe it's capable of creating hurricanes, causing earthquakes, and even manipulating the climate on a massive scale. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? But wait, there's more. Let's talk patents. There are filed documents that suggest geoengineering is not just a possibility, but a reality. Patents for weather modification techniques exist. And they're not just some fringe idea, these are real documented technologies. And it's not just the United States dabbling in weather control. Remember the 2008 Beijing Olympics? China openly used cloud seeding to ensure clear skies for the event. If they can do it, who's to say HARP isn't doing something similar on a larger scale? So what does all this mean? Is HARP just a harmless research facility, or is it a tool for silent control over our planet's weather? The truth might be out there, but it's up to you to decide. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'm curious, what do you think? Stay tuned for more deep dives into the world of the unexplained. Until next time, stay curious.